you know, when we talk about uh, what we've got here, uh, you make money work for you. The, the new principles of success, of success, if you will, relative to commercial investing, make money work for you. Um, you know, I've done a, I've flipped, I used to be a, what they call a flipper, and I've dealt in the foreclosure arena uh, for 20 plus years. And I have bought and sold hundred, over 100 houses. Um, and in the process of doing that, I've made a lot of money. But every time you buy a house, fix it up, and sell it, and make a nice check, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars whatever it is, guess what? You're unemployed. <laughs> you are now unemployed. <laughs> and if you've got enough money to live for the rest of your life, that's cool. Twenty grand won't do it. <laughs> uh, and so what do you have to do? Well, back to work. <laughs> Do you understand? It's not a bad business. It was a very good business. But it wasn't a cash flow business. It was a speculative business. It was a buy, fix, sell, and it was a very good business. Uh, but I learned over time that if you can invest in cash flow and you get paid every month, isn't that better? Okay, and that's what we're talking about. It's, it's, just, it's a whole different business. It's a different mindset a different uh, set of basic underlying fundamentals that you have to be thinking about. Passive income is the key to wealth. That's really true. Uh, when we talk about passive income being the and one of the reasons why I wanted to spend time on this stuff with you guys is this. When you're dealing with people and trying to convince them that maybe commercial is the way to go instead of residential, most of them are thinking the way I used to think because most of the people who are really investors out there, most of their experience has been where? In residential. And so to make the transition from commercial, for from residential to commercial, requires a new mindset. Does that make sense? Um, and that new mindset comes from understanding some of the basic principles that create wealth as opposed to just big income. And, and one of the things that creates wealth is passive income. Because if you have passive income, I say all the time, um, I travel around doing a lot of training, and when I do the training with people, one of the most important things to me is this. It's financial independence. And financial, you know, as soon as you say financial independence to people, most people think, well, millions of dollars. I need millions of dollars to be financially. Is that true? No. no. How much do you need to be financially independent? You need, that's right. You need enough income so that you don't have to work for it. So if the nut that you live in is $100,000 a year or $50,000 a year or whatever it is, whatever it costs you to live, if that's your nut, and you can create enough income to pay that nut without having to work, well, now you can build wealth because now you have the time. You don't have to get up every morning and spend your eight or nine or ten hours driving to work and fighting the traffic and fighting the boss. You're free. And so with that freedom, you can spend the time or invest the time in starting to look at new ways to build wealth. Does that make sense? Thank you.